This week we're going to be making an interactive card that uses a typewriter and has the message slide up. The main things that you're going to need is the Spellbinders typewriter die set as well as the Hello stamp from Paper Pumpkin. I'm also going to be using a Neon Ombre ink by Hero Arts. For more details on what I'm using, check out the description below. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small scrap of black paper and I'm going to washi tape my typewriter die onto it. Since the paper is going to be pulled on, make sure you make it out of a thicker cardstock. Just tape down the die and then die cut. Once I've removed my paper and my typewriter from the die cutting machine, I'm going to use a die brush tool to remove all the little keys from the typewriter. Then I'm just going to take a pair of tweezers and just pop it right out. Now I'm just going to die cut out some flowers and some stems from any colored cardstock. Now I've cut out all my pieces. I'm going to note here that I did cut out two large flowers, but I ended up not using them, so you don't have to cut those out. Of course, it's your choice whether you want your design to include them. I cut out five small flowers and four stems. Now it's time to begin our pull tab, which is going to be some of the flowers, not all of them, and about half of the stems. I've used a pencil to mark where the top and bottom of my stamp is going to go so that I leave adequate room for it. So I've arranged my flowers and I'm going to just take these stems and they're a bit long for me so I'm just going to cut them. You can do that if you want, you don't have to, really this is all based on your own designs. So once I've laid it all out, I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to glue everything to the top of my paper. Now I'm going to use my rotating stamp platform to stamp on my hellos. So I'm using the hello, 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 and on and on stamp that just repeats it over and over again. I'm going to place it and then put my magnets down so that it stays in place. This is quite a small piece of paper, so I'm just going to be very careful not to mess anything up, not to put things too close to each other, just be very careful. So now that I've got it placed, I'm going to take my neon ombre and I'm just going to ink it up. The proper way to use this ombre is to both put it in the stripe so that you get all three and then go a little bit below and a little bit above so you get that nice ombre color. Now it is time to begin our background. So first I'm going to take a piece of pattern paper and I'm going to use my tape runner to tape it down. The pattern paper that I'm using matches some of my flowers, some of them are solid colors, some of them are made from pattern paper. So I'm going to be using that, I've cut it to be five and a quarter by four and I'm just going to tape it down onto my card base. Now I'm going to begin laying out my pieces. I'm going to take the two stems and put them in opposite corners so it's nice and balanced. The typewriter itself is going to have a separate background that's going to go on top of this one, but don't worry if it's going to cover it up because if it does, it's basically just part of the look and it's okay if it gets covered up. This part is just for a little bit of decoration that peeks out from behind the typewriter. Now I'm ready to grab my glue and glue everything down. back I couldn't really see the pattern flower over the pattern paper so I just cut out another one of the same solid yellow as the other ones and I just glued it on top. Now 
Now that we've got our pieces and our background, it's time to begin our interactive element. So first, slide your paper into the typewriter so you can see where you want to orient it on your background. When I say background in this segment, I'm going to be referencing the new background, the blue and green sheet of paper that I've cut with a rectangular die so to fit the typewriter. Using it, I'm just going to center it to make sure it's equal with the paper because when we're finished, it will have the paper in there, so you want to orient it with the paper. Next, I'm going to open up the typewriter's little slit for the paper, and I'm going to take a pencil and draw a line across it. Don't worry if it's super dark because we'll be cutting it anyway. I'm going to turn my paper sideways and I'm going to line up my ruler with the line I just made with the pencil. This is because it's easier to cut down than sideways. Then I'm just going to take my craft knife and I'm going to cut along the line that I made, going a little bit before and a little bit after to make sure that it's got a bit of wiggle room and to make sure the paper will really fit. I've got my typewriter all ready with some glue and I'm going to glue it down onto my surface. So you really, really want to make sure that it's lined up properly, otherwise your card will not function. It will not have the functionability that makes it interactive. So you really want to make sure you line it up before you press down the entire typewriter. Now that that part's done, I'm going to take my little piece of paper and I'm going to slip it through the typewriter and through the background, and then I'm going to flip it over. On the back, I have a little white strip that's longer than both the slit and the paper, and I'm going to use some glue and I'm going to glue it onto the back of the paper. This is so when someone pulls on the card, you can't pull the paper all the way out of the card. This little slip will stop it before it reaches the end. So now we've got our interactive element all ready to be mounted onto our base. But to make it a little bit more interesting and to give it a little bit more pop, I'm going to be using foam tape so that it really pops off of the card. When you put on the foam tape, you want to make sure that it's really supported and I'm going to cut a strip in half and put it on each side so there's still enough room for the track. Now we have our finished product, a secret sliding typewriter greeting card. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make a new type of interactive card. I love this design and I hope you do too. Don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe. Stay crafty till next time.